Okay, good morning, everybody. Let's call to order the meeting for December 20th, Polk County Courthouse. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, at this time, if you would, please silence any phone, cell phones, pagers, anything like that. And we would like to ask Colonel Howard Daniel with Chestwood Baptist to lead us in prayer. Would you stand for prayer, please? First of all, I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. And let's talk to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for such an awesome blessing to allow us to live, work, raise our families in such a great country. Lord, we pray for our nation today. We pray for our leaders. We pray for those that are in authority over us, not only at the national level, Lord, but at the state, the local level. We pray for this county. We pray for the leadership of this county. And Lord, we just ask you to guide us. Guide us, give us wisdom, Lord, as we are being tested and we are in some trying times. But you have indicated that we will prevail and we just thank you for your blessings. Father, we ask you to give us a great day, productivity, creativity. These are not the blessings that we ask in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. And have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. I have to go with my wife. Yes, out, sir. Outside. Thank you. Madam Clerk, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Thank Colonel. You. Merry Thank Christmas. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Auditor. Okay, did anyone sign up for public comment? No, ma'am. Okay, number three, informational reports. Uh, first, we have our yearly report from Santec Environmental Services, and the information is in your packet. Good morning and thank you for seeing us today. Uh, you have two pieces of information in your packet this morning. Uh, we would like to propose some changes to the convenience center pricing effective 1-1. Uh, we would like to consolidate a lot of the costing so that it's not as confusing when you come to the convenience center as to what you're paying for. We would like to get rid of the nickel charges the 35 cent charges so change isn't so hard to make and that kind of thing for both the citizen and the workers at the convenience centers and we would propose to drop the loose rate of the uh, convenience center yardage from seven dollars to six dollars per yard effective January 1 so that's our proposal for the convenience centers effective January 1 any questions Does that get us in line with the San Jacinto County? Get you below. Okay. Which has been our goal all along, yeah. but if they yeah. were, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, just for the record, San Jacinto County does subsidize theirs also. Okay. Yeah. So I, I just want us to be clear yeah, about you, that. Yeah, you buy a yearly permit if you're a resident of San Jacinto County and then okay. you can come. So we're going to knock it down to a dollar and a quarter from a dollar thirty-five. Yes. On the, on the, on the most of the stuff you get is the black bag, the big bags anyway at those convenience centers, and then the other one will be rounded off to fifty cents to the forty-five. And there's been a there's a consolidation of a lot of materials to make it easier for those people working at the convenience center and the citizens. Additionally, additionally, there's a, I'm going to hand out a report, and Ms. Miller and I and John met about this yesterday. This is a report that I will start sending to her on a monthly basis, uh, and she and I can communicate about this if there's any questions. It just shows what's coming in, and it will show the, 
potential host fee on a monthly basis so that there is kind of a monthly progress report. And in 2019, from a host fee point of view, uh, the contract is kicked into a 6.25% of revenue instead of the old number because we're bringing in more material to the landfill. So the county itself is getting 6.25% now instead of what you were getting in the past. And we see no reason that won't continue. Well, this will sim certainly simplify budgeting for the court. Any questions on that? <coughs> yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Merry Christmas. It. Happy New Same Year. To you. Yes, sir. Yep. Same to you. Okay. Uh, the other thing you have in front of you is the uh, report for the volunteer fire department funding because the first quarterly payment will be in January and so you have a copy of that in front of you just to refresh your memory um, keep in mind that several things happened this time one the mitigation plan was updated uh, we increased the base which you can see went from 6008 <coughs> bless, you. bless you and then we had an overall increase that was budgeted and all of this was adjusted to the formula um, I was under the impression originally that it was only the unincorporated areas, but the fire chiefs had a more comprehensive plan which covers every structure, every taxpayer, every residence, and every building in the county. Um, and so the, the total that we have modified this budget, we originally started out with 132,778 basically dollars in 2014-2015, and then now we are at um, almost $200,000. <coughs> so the increase over the last four or five years has been almost $66,000 in funding. So that's just for your information since the, since the first payment will go out in January. Okay, did you have a report? Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, just, just real quick. And, uh, good morning to the court. Just wanted to make a, a report. Christmas report. The, the guys at the office, uh, this is I think the fourth year, uh, collected money around with the guys there at the office and uh, with uh, Walmart and with uh, HEB. Uh, trying to always this year, trying to give back uh, to the community um, along with some of the elected officials. Uh, we were able to, co to collect and put together 100 meals uh, throughout the county, which, was, which encompasses all precincts. We went through the schools some of the churches, um, as well as some of the county officials, and we were able to come up with uh, 100 names. Um, I just wanted to be able to make this a, a report because uh, I'm proud that the guys uh, able to come together and do that for the community. Unfortunately, we, we get a bad light sometimes, but I just want uh, the community to know that the guys are doing something other than pay, taking people to jail. Yep. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you, you, Chief. Thank you, Mayor. Merry Christmas to the, to the guys also. Okay, new business, no, item number four, consent agenda. You have addendums on B, addendum one, number one in the amount of $7,313.70, and addendum number two in the amount of $64,308.24. Is there anything on the consent agenda that anybody would like to pull off? Okay, can I have a motion to approve? So moved. Commissioner Willis, <coughs> second Commissioner Overstreet, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, consider any and all necessary action relating to the TxDOT off-system bridge replacement program. Um, we brought the information out here. So, Clint, I want to step up here and talk about the five bridge projects. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Clint. Uh, 
basically we have five bridges for consideration of replacement. Uh, these would be in 2022 and 2023 that we would begin the work. Uh, Duff Road, Kelly Road, Tram Road, County Line Road, and Wilkins Road. Clean. Yes, sir. Now, like on Wilkins Road, we won't be able to close it. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, it's one way in, one way out. Yes, sir. But on this thing here, it's it's it don't have the right names here. It says County Road 4123 at Bear Bayou. I don't okay. know where that comes we'll, from. we'll look at that. that we'll have to yeah. change these. Yes, ones sir. Ones yeah, ones I, can, I, can, I can adjust that. And then I've got one here that the map doesn't correlate with where the. Okay. You know, so. All right. Yes, sir. So basically, the road closures, that's something for you guys to consider if it's, yeah. uh, if it's possible. Yes. If, if we're able to, and y'all know how that works. So. Yeah. But if they get with us, I mean, we could, you know, come out there and, show, and figure out a way to make a, a, a another crossing. Yes, sir. And, and so we can do it ahead of time. That way, maybe they don't put a big curve in. The that's room. right. Um, if if the county's able to do some prep work before we get out there, that usually saves quite a bit of time, uh, utility-wise and even acquisition-wise. Since, since this is gonna be twenty two or twenty three before y'all do them. Mm -hmm. We got time and you know if y'all get with us before y'all do the plans and all we would appreciate it. we'd try to work with the landowners and yes sir. everybody ahead of time. Yes. It'd and make it a lot smoother for us. Absolutely. So one of the main things is just the you know, getting the agreement going and that way we can get an engineering firm contracted and get them out there to get right. survey and and figure out what what length of bridge we need to go back with. So we have preliminary estimates in, included, and I believe um, <coughs> generally when we can't close the road, it does add quite a bit to the to it. But uh, Polk County is economically disadvantaged, and so we were able to use the equivalent match from y'all's precincts, and so there's it. Uh, so it won't be any expenditure for the county. Okay. So do you want them to mark these documents up? If they're able to. Um, they don't have to give a consent on the road closure today. I think the most important part is just uh, if we can get the executed agreement between the county and the state to allow us to pursue. And as far as the road closure letter, we can exclude that from the agreement. We can I can revise that and then return a corrected copy to each of you. Yeah. What about event, this one with this map on here? This bad can, map. We can revise that. It, it, I'm not sure how that got included. We we have so many maps coming and going that yeah. they have gotten. It's just a duplicate of another one that's in here, but that map's not with this one on Campbell yes, sir. Creek. Yes, sir. So. Well, we should. could make a note of that, though. Yeah. Right. right. We could put a, put a line through it. Yes, we, we, can, we can slip a new sheet in there for the agreement, okay. the main thing. And I'm glad you all caught that. We can definitely revise that. Um, is that Nolan with you today? It is. <laughs> Just in case y'all don't know, this is Nolan Arnold, the bridge inspection coordinator for the District 11. So. I need to give him Kelly Roads repaired. You need to go look at it. Thank you. All right. Okay, how, what's, what would you two like to do? Yeah, I mean, no sound. Proceed. We can execute them, and execute as long as we get, we'll just leave that do that road closure later like you see yes if y'all if y'all want to ride the roads look at it and see and that's totally we, we I understand so oh, I always do ask that if it's possible that that expedites the construction quite a bit and so well yeah yeah I mean, but we're also this one here we can right absolutely if it's a dead-end road then there's no other way around it yeah and if the county one thing I can ask is if the county's got surplus like a tank car or something that you could substitute in and do with your own forces that way it's not you know if it, get, if it comes a text audit it becomes an environmental issue too so anything that the county okay. can do ahead well when of you us, get time I mean you go look at we this. can we can and we'll see what we can do and that way i can work with them right and uh people that live on those, the landowners if, and see yeah, what if we the, can do. If the landowners, another thing we're stressing is right away wise, if we can get the property owner to just agree to a temporary easement versus yeah. going to buy additional right away, we've been trying to give the land that we use right back to them. That way it's not yeah. a permanent loss. So. Some of them are pretty open-armed about that and some of them are 
That's right. And that's what no. we've run into. We, yeah. That's why we like these temporary uh-huh. construction easements versus yeah. acquiring right away. And like I say, you know, if y'all, you know, like I say, if y'all start now, we start now doing yeah, it. Yeah, help it's us. It's a lot easier than yes, us sir. trying to get an easement that fast, you know, after the project's done. That's, that's right. Done. You know, y'all already so this, did the engineering and everything. And that's got right. To At this point, there are no plans other than my estimate, an early okay. estimate that's put together. And so this is just allowing us to go ahead and begin the process. Again. And we really appreciate you doing it yeah. like this. Yes, sir. And there'll be more. I know our inspections just wrapped up for this this summer. We wrapped up off-system inspections. And I know y'all are aware we had quite a few that came back deficient. So yeah. we'll be targeting those and coming after them, trying to get them replaced. All right. Okay. But yeah, just just let us know. Uh, yes, sir. Clinton and I said, do you have any other yeah, questions? You can go ahead and sign these. I mean, we don't sign. She does. Right? She does. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, Judge so Murphy it's a sign. it's a motion to to go ahead and execute the agreements. Yeah, yeah with the understanding. The road closure. Okay. Yeah. Road closure okay. and the one on Kimball Creek has the wrong map. Yes, sir. Okay. We will get that revised. Will do. Thank who's, you. All right, who's make, which one of you is making that motion? So I will second. second. Either one. We, we can make it second. Okay, Commissioner Purvis, Commissioner Overstreet. All in favor say aye. Thank aye. y'all. Any Thank you, Clean. Thank you. Item number six, consider approval of personnel matters as follows. Uh, there are no emergency hires today. Item A, reviewing consideration of personnel changes as requested by Sheriff Kenneth Hammock. And that information is in your packet he would like to reclassify the position of warrant officer into a deputy position and he also would like the temporary reclassification of one of his corporal positions into a deputy position until a qualified supervisor is found within the department yes ma'am basically what we're, what we're uh, attempting to do is that uh, in-house uh, trying to put us more deputies uh, boots on the ground so we want to change that warrant position uh, to just a st- straight deputies position uh, won't be any extra money they, the, the salaries are exactly the same so basically we just want to reclassify that so it will be classified as a deputy and not as a, uh, a warrant officer that actual job has, has been put in with another uh, and then on the uh, corporal's position what we're wanting to do is that we feel as though we have people in-house who are, who have the potential to be uh, a corporal, to move up into the, the supervisory ranks. But we just feel like those these individuals need some more work, need a little bit more training. My problem is, is that if we put them in that position and start working on that, it puts us in a liability issue because they are now wearing the title of a corporal. So what we would like to do is is have that labeled as a deputy for now until we can get that person or those two individuals. Uh, we feel like they're satisfactory that they are ready to be able to wear that top that that title, and then that will kind of diminish our our liability. Any questions? Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Commissioner Vincent, second. Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, no. Thank Any you. Any opposed? Thank you, Chief. 6B, review and consideration of personnel changes is requested by the jail administrator, Patrick Dickens. Um, this is also to temporarily designate a supervisor position to a deputy position in the transport division for a period of six months. Coming up here, Jerry. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, Court. Good morning. Uh, what we're asking for is uh, we have a candidate in the jail. He's a corporal right now on shift. Uh, we want to move him over to that uh, to transport as in the deputy position. He uh, also holds a basic peace officer license. Uh, we need to, um, he have the uh, leadership abilities. However, he have not supervised in law enforcement yet uh, as he's uh, beginning his uh, request. I mean, beginning his uh, his journey, uh, you know, in law enforcement. Uh, we are asking the court to allow the jail division to temporarily read this, re- designate the supervisor position to a transport deputy position for a time not to uh to exceed six months at a group rate of one one five step two uh this will allow that officer to uh work in the division to learn and, and perform at the level of a transport deputy without being in a supervisory role 
We asking at the six month mark, once uh, Mr. Uh, Reynolds has learned and performed the duties of transport deputy, that he will be reclassified into a supervisor role at, a, at group 115, step four, which he has applied for. Uh, jail, administration, uh, jail Administrator Dickens, a hope is that uh, the uh, see that uh, Jonathan is properly trained and not necessarily overwhelmed with supervising this very active division of the Polk County Jail. In part, he would like to thank you for your uh, consideration regarding this request, and he look forward for a response and potential approval of this request. Okay, is it going to make a difference? You all have the money and the personnel? Yes, yes, ma'am, we do. Perfect. Okay. So move. So move, Commissioner Purvis, second Commissioner Overstreet. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, 6C, review and consideration of personnel action form requests submitted since the last meeting, a review of any authorized emergency hiring. There were no emergency hires, and all the PAFs um, were included for your review. So moved. Second. Commissioner Willis, second Commissioner Vincent. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, consider request for revisions and or amendments to the budget as follows. A, the FY 2019 amendments and FY 2020 revisions and amendments as presented by the county auditor's office. Also, all of those revisions and amendments were included in your packet. So moved. Commissioner Purvis. Second. Second, Commissioner Willis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight, consider approval of offers to purchase tax foreclosed properties as follows. Uh, they're all in precinct two. Commissioner Vincent? Motion to sell. Motion to Second. sell. Second, Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight, consider, I mean, excuse me, number nine, consider approval to reduce the hours of operation at the citizen collection stations uh, for the Christmas Eve holiday. Um, basically what they're asking is can they shut down at noon on Christmas Eve? So moved. Second. Commissioner Willis, second Commissioner Overstreet. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10, consider action relating to possible rescheduling of the regular commissioner's court session set for Tuesday, February 11th due to the court's attendance at the VG Young Commissioner's Court Conference. Um, the, com the conference is in College Station. It starts on Tuesday the 11th through the 13th. And so we wanted to see if you, would you like to move it to Monday, which is just the day before. Monday the 10th. 10th. I believe so. Yeah, Everybody get their phone out except for me. <laughs> works for me. I guess. And that way, if anyone still wants to go be there early, they can still go that afternoon. Go on Monday. Yeah, is it going to start till that more, uh, till? I have no idea. I think that morning. Okay. Uh, Tuesday maybe morning. lunch. It starts lunch. at Tuesday. It starts, starts on Tuesday, Tuesday, 11th, probably. Okay. I think, I, without looking at it, but I think it don't kick off till really about lunch. That's well, yeah, but if know. anyone's going to any meetings that Yeah, morning, that morning, that's yeah. the only thing, the meetings. So. Okay, so Tim's fine with me. Monday the tenth at ten. That works yeah. for me. Okay, can I have that as a motion? So moved, yes, ma'am. Commissioner Overstreet, Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number eleven: Consider approval of agreement with East Tech Security for camera and door maintenance at the Polk County Judicial Center. Uh, this, the copy of the proposal from East Tech Security, is included for your review. If you will recall, Argyle Security um, no, is no longer in business, and so East Tech Security has, provi has provided a set of proposals to provide the same service at $2,100 annually. That's what we need, motion to approve. Motion to approve, second. Commissioner Overstreet, second Commissioner Purvis. Any discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 
Item number 12, discuss and consider approval of inspection fees for the fire marshal services. Uh, Jacob Chapman will present his schedule and information for everyone. Morning, morning. Morning. Uh, the fees I came up with, uh, it matches the state fees, identical everything that I have is what the state would charge if these people call for an inspection for the state. That's what the state fire marshals would charge. It's identical. Okay. So if they're calling the state in, they're already paying that same fee anyway. So move. Second. Commissioner Purvis, Commissioner Overstreet. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 13. Consider any and all necessary action regarding RFP 2020-11, demolition and asbestos abatement services at the Polk County Office Annex. Um, we uh, Go ahead. I'd like to reject the bids. Okay. And we'll just delete this. Right. Okay, so we're rejecting all bids and yes, delete this for now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, that comes a motion from Commissioner Purvis, second from Commissioner Overstreet. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Merry Christmas, everybody. Most adjourned. Second. Commissioner Overstreet and Commissioner Purvis. Merry Christmas and have Merry a Christmas very happy and safe New Year. What time is it? 1026. Okay.